Welcome to the live streaming of morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church, West Florida, on this Monday, and it's December 12th. And uh, my name is Joan Henskow. I'm a member of the Good Shepherd Daily Office team, the ministry that brings you morning and evening prayer. Um, the service is streamed live every Wednesday morning, weekday morning at 9 a.m. exclusively on Zoom. If you would like to um, watch us later, of course, you can go after after 10 o'clock. It's on all our um, worship document lists. Um, and all our... Okay, I think I have to start over. <laughs> uh, this service is available beginning at 10 a.m. on all of Good Shepherd's communication channels, Facebook, YouTube, and the prayer page of Good Shepherd Online about And um, uh, we love to have you here live. So um, when you go to Good Shepherd Online Network, just find worship, drop down lists, drop down prayer, scroll down and find the surface leaflet, or just look for today's day. And immediately above the surface leaflets, there's a picture of prayer books and peers. And you just click on that line to turn the PSM. And uh, we welcome to all of you join. And we have Pam, Kathy, uh, and Ian. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm sure Lenny's around, and I hope you both still feeling good. So welcome to those who have joined us now. And yeah, we will start um, morning prayer right to on this Monday, December 12th. Watch for you know not when the master of the house will come in the evening or at midnight or or in the morning. Please he come suddenly and find you asleep. In the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert, a highway for our God. Our confession of sin. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Welcome, Sherry. Good to see you here this morning. So, Almighty God, we have confessed our sins, have mercy on us, and forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us all in goodness by the power of the Holy Spirit, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Lord, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Our King and Savior now draws near. Come, let us adore him. The Venite will now be said in the Ericson. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God the great king of all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, and of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our King and Savior, draw, now draws near. Come, let us adore him. The Psalms today are Psalms 41 and 52, which we will say in unison. Have 
happy are they who consider the poor and needy. The Lord will deliver them in the time of trouble. The Lord preserves them and keeps them alive so that they may be happy in the lambs. He does not hand them over to the will of the enemies. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and ministers to them in their illness. I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies are saying wicked things about me. When will he die in his name? Perish. Even if they come to see me, they speak in tears. Their hearts go like spots wounds. They go outside and spread them. All my enemies whisper together about me and devise evil against me. The deadly thing they say is fashion. He is taken to his bed and will never get up. Even my best friend, whom I trust, who broke bread with me, has lifted up his heel and turned against me. But you, O Lord, be merciful to me and raise me up, and I shall repay him. By this I know that you are pleased with me, that my enemy does not triumph over me. In my integrity, you hold me fast. And shall set before your face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, age to age. Amen. Amen. Psalm 52. You tyrant, why do you boast of wickedness against the godly all day long? You plot ruin. Your tongue is like a sharp embrace of a work of deception. You love evil more than good, and lying more than speaking the truth. You love all words that hurt, or you to seek for some. Oh, that God would demolish you utterly, topple you and snatch you from your dwelling, and root you out of the land of the living. The righteous shall see and tremble, and they shall laugh at him, saying, this is the one who did not take God for a refuge, but trusted in great wealth and rallied, relied on wickedness. But I am like the green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever. I will give thanks to you for what you have done and declare the goodness of your name in the presence of Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. It must be terrible to have the, the evil you've done that you can reach out to God. Lucky we are that we're converted. The first lesson is from Isaiah. Line up the testimony, seal the teaching among my disciples. I will wait for the Lord who is hiding from face, his face from the house of Jacob. And I will hope in him. See, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are signs and portents, portents and Israel from the Lord of hosts who dwells on Mount Zion. Now if people say to you, consult the ghost and the familiar spirits that char chirp and mutter, should not a people consult their gods? The dead on the behalf of the living, for teaching and for instruction. Surely those who speak like this will have no dawn. They will pass through the land greatly distressed and hungry, and they are hungry. They will be enraged and will curse their king and their gods. They will turn their faces upwards, for they will look to the earth. But we'll see only distress and darkness, the gloom of anguish, and they will be thrust into thick darkness. But there will be no gloom for those who were on or in anguish in the former time he brought into contempt the land of Zebulun. 
and will I make the palm to And in later time, you will make glorious the way of the sea. The Lord planted beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the nations. The word of the Lord. Thanks. The first song of Isaiah. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore, you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day, you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his teeth known among the peoples. See if they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, bring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second lesson is from Luke. Jesus, I'm sorry. Sometimes the scripture does get to you. <laughs> Jesus came out following the Passover meal and went in, as was this question, to the Mount of Olives and the disciples followed him. When he reached this place, said to them, Pray that you may not come into the time of trial. Then he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, knelt down and prayed. Father, if you are willing, remove the this from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. Then an angel from heaven appeared to him and gave him strength. In his anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood. Falling down on the ground, when he got up from prayer, he came to the disciples, found them sleeping. Because of grief, and he said to them, Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you may not come into this time of trial. While he was still speaking, suddenly a crowd came, and the one called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him, but Jesus said to him, Judas, as it is with the kiss that you were betraying the Son of Man. When these were, who were around him saw what was coming, they asked, Lord, should we strike with the sword? Then one of them struck the slave on the high priest and cut off his right ear. But Jesus said, No more of that. And he touched the ear and healed him. Then Jesus said to the chief priest, the officers of the temple police and the elders who come for him. Have you come out with swords and clubs as if I were a bandit? When I was with you day after day in the temple, you did not lay your hands on me. But this is your hour and the power of darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The song of the redeemed we will say together. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to give you homage, O Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Lord. All nations will draw near and fall down before you. 
because you're just in holy works that have been revealed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now. And will be forever. Amen. The apostles of the Let us confess our faith that we have in this Lord Jesus. I believe in God. The Father, the Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. And to believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the last. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom and the power and the glory. We now say the summer to say, Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness and let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all this world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known, Father, your saving help from the moment. Let not the needs of the Lord be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken from you. Create in us clean the hearts of the Lord and sustain us in the importance of your people. We have the call up for today, and um, this is the third Sunday of that. Stir up your power, O Lord, with great might. Come on among us, and because we are sorely heart hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory now and forever. Amen. The next is a calling to commemorate two of our saints. One is Saint of St. Francis de Sales, Bishop, and the other is Jane de Chantel, monastic worker. They're both, let's say, workers of charity, uh, 1622 to 1641. It was a little ways away, wasn't it? <laughs> um, I didn't get a chance to look them up, and I'm sorry, but I'm, we will say the collar for them, and if you get a chance to look up, St. Francis of De Sales Bishop and uh, Jane D. Chantel, a monastic. Please do that. Uh, most gracious God, who has bidden us to act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly before you, grant that we, like your servants, Francis and Jane, may see and serve Christ in all people. And know him as the giver of good things. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit. 
now and forever. Amen. We give thanks for all those saints before us and those people that we have known that are saints that have touched us. And of course, the saints are all those, the angels, the candles that are. We give thanks for that too. A calling now to command uh, uh, for peace. We need that in our world and our lives. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of comfort, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we surely, trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. A prayer of self dedication. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated to you. And then use us, we pray, as you will. And always to your glory and the welfare of your people. Through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the missionary diocese of or Orgimago, <laughs> and that's in Nigeria. <laughs> The Right Reverend Festus O. Davies Bishop. We pray also for our diocese of Southeast Florida and our bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and the Companion Diocese. Remember today, especially the Diocese of the Bahamas and the Chips and Cape Cod Islands, the Right Reverend Lash St. Boyd Senior Bishop. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of the faithful people is governed and sanctified. Receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for our own parish family of those dearest then, remembering today especially for Carmen, Rick, Kay, Liz, Ray, the Burnett McGrath family, Bill, Barbara, Linton, and Gloria, and son. We pray also today for our worship ministries, remembering especially music, that the words and harmony sung in corporate worship may bring those who attend closer to the word of God, and live streaming and recording, that our worship services may be made available to everyone, everywhere. A prayer for our parish. Our sister, Almighty and liver, ever living God, ruler of all things in heaven. Here are our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, restore the penitent, grant us all things necessary for our common life, and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ. At this time, we invite your prayers and petition, intercession, and thanksgiving. Either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. And I'd like to offer my, my granddaughter, Kelsey, who is being examined today in a hospital. Uh, we don't know the outcome of today, but hopefully she will be treated and not released. And we pray for her. God will enter into her heart and soul and heal her and rid her upon the evil that is over.
And let's see. Okay. Okay, let's see. Good morning, all. From Anne, prayers for the youth of Good Shepherd and particularly those undergoing confirmation preparation that they may grow into the full stature of Christ. It was beautiful to see you and I'll be lighting the candles yesterday uh, with you at the church. And uh, we bless them and praise them. They will forever, forever be confirmed and hold this beautiful, beautiful life of Christ with them forever. And uh, let's see, Kathy, uh, we pray for you and, uh, and your decisions, things that are happening with you today. And uh, for all of us here that are attending our, our, um, our, our, our meeting here for prayer, morning prayer for Pam and Ian and Sherry and Kathy and myself. I really receive healing as well. Good job, Kathy. Thank you for being here. And now the prayer of St. Christophson. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time of one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Bless, bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And glory to God, whose power of working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to Him from generation to generation in the church. In Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. May your day be blessed and remember to be kind to everyone. In Jesus' name. Amen.